hi guys welcome back to my channel this is african lioness tv in case you have seen this beautiful face look 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 can you see the, the beautiful face in case you have seen this beautiful face for the first time welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming to watch my video please Click on the red button to subscribe to my channel. Smash the like button and also click on the bell notification icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first person to get the video. Also, put your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think after watching the video, okay? Because that is where we share our thoughts. Yes, thank you for clicking okay so now we i'm going to prepare ofe ede if you have if you have eaten ofe ede before put your comment in the comment section and let me know if you are a fan of ede okay that is um coco yam uh, soup soup prepared african soup prepared with a uh, coco yam that is ede we call it ede me and the uh, achi little achi okay yes i don't know what they call achi in in english but i know we call it achi whoever that knows what we call achi in english please don't for don't forget to put it down for me in the comment section so that i will know the name in english okay yes so with that with that being said i'm going to show you guys the ingredients the ingredients i'm going to use to prepare this uh, Delicious offer ede. Okay? Yes. Yeah. So let's let's go. Let's go. Let's see. So here I have ache. See, this is the ache. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys one minute. Let me show you guys what I got. Woo. This is the ache. This is the achi. This is um, orishi rishi stripes and um, mixed with, you know, other uh, parts of the meat. This is um, stock fish. We call it okoroko. It's already prepared. See, let me show you. Let me show you guys. See, you see, this is stock fish. It's already washed, already prepared. You see, yeah. I washed my hand, that's why I can touch it. So this this is uh, dry fish. You see, my sister prepared this dry fish by herself. This is um, tilapia, dried tilapia fish. Okay, dried fish. Yeah, this one is pepper for seasoning. You know pepper now, everybody, we all know pepper yeah already grinded it's already blended so i will just take the amount i want and add to the to the soup this one is um oporoko the stock oporoko stock okay yeah this oporoko you are seeing here this is the stock yeah and i'll add it to the soup and this one is um spinach it's already washed too it's washed so ready to use so this one still in the blender here is the edder this is the edder i want to use i blended this edder and put and add a, uh, the bell pepper to it so that it can give me the color the redness color the nice color that will look like um, a, a, a lot of oil okay you know we use just a, a little tip of oil we don't use much just little tip on our soup so this one is salt to taste this one is the red oil if you're an african person you know we don't cook anything without our regular red oil yes so so these are the ingredients i'm going to use to prepare this simple edde soup 
okay yes so that being said let's see this is the pot i'm going to use so now i'm gonna turn the the light on i'm gonna turn the stove on i turn the stove on to start the cooking now so let me set my camera where you can see all what i'm going to do now yeah so if you are if you are a fan of ofede keep watching you will see how it's being prepared i will take it step by step to show you guys how this my simple simple ede soup is going to be prepared okay yeah, 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 my head is look. Yeah. Yeah. See? It's, the stove is on already. Now I'm going to put the stock right away. And I will allow it to boil. Um, I need to add a little more water. So, so let this water boil. When it boil, then I'll, I'll put the next thing. Yeah, I think I'll add. Where is my spoon? I'll take a little of the oil. Take little, just a little. Sometimes I don't even need oil. I will only. Sometimes I will only use bell pepper. I don't always like using oil. You see? You see the little amount of oil I want to use, see? Huh? No, I'll take care of it. Yeah. 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 I cannot reach them, I cannot see them, I can touch them, I can talk to them. I'm, I'm already with them for past two weeks now. So, I'm so excited and happy being with them. So, as we are cooking, there's this um, story I want to tell about um, one... I saw it uh, on online. One YouTuber did a video about it. You know, tie your eye, no? Mm -hmm. So he made a video about a man, a Nigerian billionaire who started with absolutely nothing. They were living under the bridge in Lagos. Imagine hmm. someone living under the bridge. Under the bridge in Lagos was a, is now a billionaire, not even millionaire, billionaire, stinking billionaire. Hey, you see that what God has destined anybody to be, 
no one can change it. It will only take time, you know. It may be delayed, but it cannot be denied, okay? Yes, so from the story the guy was telling uh, Tayo, Tayo I know on that video, hmm, the thing touched me. I was so emotional when I listened to that man's uh, video. That's what that man was telling Tayo I know. It was so emotional to me, you know. So, he said this man came from a very poor family, for, for poor home. When the dad lost his job, he, the, you know, nobody was taking care of them. They were ejected from their home. They now went to, under the bridge. They now went uh, under the bridge and that's where they were sleeping. So little did anybody know that such person could later in life become even a, a thousand, let me say thousand years. <laughs> Talk less of millionaire and talk less of billionaire, being Nigerian billionaire. Can you imagine somebody sleeping under the bridge? You see? So that's why they say what God can do, what what God cannot do does not uh, exist. See? He does everything perfectly good at his at his own time. So let us uh, I'm just saying it to encourage us, some of us. People that we think that is the end of life. It's not the end of life. It's not the end of life at all. When the going it becomes tough, don't give up. Keep going. Move. Keep moving. Okay? One day, your God will remember you at the appointed time. So let's continue our cooking. Yeah. So now, I will add my... I will add them. Uh, I'll add this the stock fish because you know stock fish is hard, even though it was soaked overnight. I'll add the stock fish. See, I'll add the stock fish so that, you know, I need to boil it for a while so that it will bring out its taste, the stock fish and the dry fish. They are kind of hard. So we need to boil it for it to bring out its taste. Because if you, if you don't, you will not get the taste of the soup. Let's allow it to boil. I will add one of the maggi now so that it will give the meat and the its taste. Then I'll add a little salt. I need to use. Let's 
allow it to boil very well so that the fish and the stock fish will bring out its taste before I add my thickener. Thickener, that is the ebe, or you call it kukuyam in English. So that in our Laibo language, we call it ede. Or you say it's a soup thickener. We use it to thicken our soup. The last thing I will put is the veggies. So let this boil. Boil and boil. So what, what is what is that um what is thickener? Thickener in Igbo. What do we call it? Instead of calling calling it um ede ache uh or for is there any uh, central name? You know, yeah, is there any name in Igbo? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oria. <laughs> they call it in my place. They call it Oria. Oria. Mm -hmm. Oria. So that covers the you know, any any form of thickener you want to use. Yeah. You know, you call it a day, call it mm -hmm. a goosey, call it a over, call it name it a uh, ache or any of them. Even some people use even coco yam, uh, coco, uh, um, um, yam itself. Some people use yam for okay. thickener in case yeah. they are cooking white soup. You see, but one open, name, open what, salad. Yeah, what one name? One evil name. They one call evil name that soup thickener. Soup, mm -hmm. soup, soup thickener. No matter whichever one you are using. Yeah. In my place, they call it oria. Then that's what they call it. Yeah. Oria, 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 jeshufe. Oria covers all of them because none of them has that name as oria. Oria is if any thickener you want to use. Yeah. Our, our soup is about to boil. It's at the boiling point, okay? So it will boil, 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 and bring out the taste of the fish and stock fish. In this house, we don't always use red meat. Red meat. We don't use red meat because we, we are running away from meat. You know, we don't like red meat in this house. Nobody likes red meat here. So that's why you see us using this all this our fish and the uh, um, stripes and the stock fish. Okay? Yeah, we are not fan of uh, red meat because of other things that comes with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Some people will be running away from cholesterol, you know? Mm -hmm. So they say prevention is better than cure so don't allow it to come whatever you will do to prevent it from coming you do it it's better than it has already come so yeah it's good you deny yourself those pleasure of eating a lot of meat eating a lot of red meat whereby you're harming your life so it's not that people don't eat red meat, but they don't eat it in excess. But for us in this house, in, in our house, in fact, we virtually all my siblings, we don't like red meat. We don't eat red meat. Yes, so keep watching. Keep watching. Yeah, so we have to put uh, pepper. You see? We have to put pepper, okay? the part
so I have to add my edit. So now add my head okay so I'm to allow it to boil more soup is almost done mm. so it's looking good already yeah so yeah. to put the maggie for seasoning so that everything will so let me try it test it and see if the is the salt if the salt is okay Let me check the salt. I think it's good. Okay. Let me put a little more. Yeah, it's about to. It's about to. To be a pot of steak. Ready for more band. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe to our channel if you like what we are doing here. Yay! Thank you guys for always coming to watch my video. So while I'm waiting for the soup to be done, I got to be, you know, moving my mouth with this. Yeah, guys, join me to eat the apple. My sister bought this apple yesterday for me. So you have to stir it from time to time to make sure that it is it, not burnt. The, it, the soup did not burn. So, Another ingredient I did not show you before is this. This is crayfish. So I'm going to add it to it. So the last but not the least, the last is the veggies. You know I told you Whenever veggies go to the pot, the soup is done. In fact, the food is done. Whatever you are cooking, once the veggies enters it, it's done. Okay? So now, I'm going to put my veggies and I bring the soup down. Done. Let's see how it looks like. Let us see the pot of soup. You see? It's done. It's done. Right? Tell me what you think in the comment section. Okay? Oh, yeah. So now I'm going to bring it down and off the light. 
take it off the stove so that the veggies will not overcook. So let's see the outcome. Let's see the pot. Let's see how our soup look like. See it. So, do you like ofe there? Do you like a kokoyam soup? If you're a fan of kokoyam soup, let me know in the comment section. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. The soup is finally done. Thank you for watching. So, thank you for watching up till now. Okay? But don't forget to hit the red button in case you're watching up till now and you're yet to subscribe. Okay? Thank you for always supporting your girl. So, we will see in the next video. Bye for now. Okay? See you in the next video. Bye-bye. See you.